Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are making this very useful little envelope out of a an, out of an envelope, and I've patchworked it up. And there are several different ways you can make this, and I've just used one way. So I've suggested a lot of ways you can make this. There's obviously lots of tips and things like that, lots of ideas. And uh, so I hope that you'd like to come along and join me today. You could craft along, or you could listen, or you could just watch watch it turn out. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Watch it come along, watch it as it as it as it. Um, emerges not this gets stuck <laughs> it's because it's new <laughs> so there's the journaling card so i'll give you some tips on how to do it all okay then so please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel press the notification bell with your crafty fingers and uh, share my video thank you and please join my facebook group hazy crazy arts on there we have some amazing people sharing their stuff and the tips things like that thanks so much for that you know who you are amazing okay so if you want to know who it is you come along to the group <laughs> okay and you if you've got anything as well then you're always welcome um all right then so let's go and find out how i made these so that doesn't mess about right then so i've got this wonderful envelope with some important information in clothes. Nice. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is, we're not going to use this bit, we're using this bit. Yeah, I suppose we can use that bit, but I've got another one that I can use later. I don't know. Might, I will see what we do. So I'm taking this bit here. Yeah, it's good because that's going to fit these index cards in. Let's have a look. Index card. Yeah, so that's going to be down to you. So we can cut that off. Now I'm going to try and make something that's not going to, you know, we're not going to glue down that edge. I'm going to do something else. I've decided. Right then. So I've got to this stage. Okay, so I'm going to cut down here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Happy to have, you can cut always cut some of this off if it's too short, of course. Oh, it's not going to be too short. In fact, that's going to be. I'm going to cut it off there at six inch. Okay, so there we go. So we've now got, oh dear, we've got this going on. I don't know whether to round the corner. You can round the corners, can't it? <laughs> round the corners. Hey, I'm going to try and, I don't know, even the, even the ones where you've got, I want to do this little tiny, I think these little tiny ones. I don't know. So we'll just try it anyway. I don't know if it's going to make much difference on that corner. Let's see if it's. I don't know if it's made a hole. Let me have a look. No, it's not even made a hole. <laughs> so what we're doing is. My plan is actually to. I've just covered all the thing extra bits with white labels. I just think in a good way. I think in a good way. If you've got some white labels, I don't. <laughs> This is my sort of thing. I've got some white labels. I was going to do it with scraps of paper, which could obviously do, but I thought, oh, white labels, look. So you can get some scraps of paper, that like glue them down and then fold them. And if you've got some labels, you can do that as well. Oh, look at that. What have I done? Yeah, you can do, you can do that if you like, if you can actually do it properly. So let's have a go again. Oh, it actually peels up look quick if we do it quickly. And we can get that down properly like this, honest. <laughs> right, so it's because I was thinking it um, doesn't matter about that, we can use that for a thumb hole, can't we? Let's get another label. Oh, and then we're gonna have to round the corner again. Ha ha. 
well it doesn't matter I'm going to round the corner again just making sure that goes down properly you can put it off there, across there if you like because it's quite useful that isn't it but there we go <laughs> so now I've got a proper little envelope <laughs> envelope <laughs> that's a good word isn't it I was it this well, it must be both sides look I've got to round the corner of both well I've not got to I'm going to. I was thinking if you wanted to as well, obviously I'm covering this up because it's on public. But if you're at home, you don't perhaps not even have to put your labels on. Right, who wants a white envelope? I don't know. Who do you want a white envelope? I've, I had did have a coloured one earlier, but <sighs> I've got a window in it and I think I'm going to use the window. Perhaps for something. I don't know. Perhaps I can make one out of this and then use the wind. I'm thinking of that actually. Sort of like this. And then using because that's a nice orange, isn't it? And then we can cover that up with patterns and things. Right then, so what I'm going to do, I'm not getting my sprays out because um, I'm always getting my sprays out. I'm just changing my tactic. I'm going to do either watercolour, brush show, gouache, I don't know, gouache of a bit opaque I'm definitely going to do br brush out but I'm going to decorate what I'm going to do instead instead of doing um oh no it's, it's this I'm going to do so I've got an idea for this not that just went to get some water yeah the cat came in the window and went meow so is it like saying timber for cat coming <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so, so sort of like saying that I think into what they do Right, so I'm going to make, I'm going to, <laughs> if it will come out, make this into a sort of greenish. So you could mess about with washes. I've showed you how to do washes on my group. But this is different. This is bush, obviously. It's turqu I've got turquoise leaf green and bush powders. And just spray water on them. Don't have to do that at all, but <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, this is my favourite thing. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, so oh, God, it looks orange. That's leaf green that looks orange. Right. So I'm going to get rid of some of the moisture. Don't have to do this. You can leave it to dry, but it'll take ages, won't it? Oh, look at that for a background. So, also going to do it on the other side. Oh yeah, what do I say about brush out? It does stain your table. So what am I doing? I'm forgetting. So I'm doing the other side now. Oops. Right, we'll move them out of the way. <laughs> right, and then we'll spray. that you can tell really where I've made them or well, you can a bit but it doesn't really matter does it all right well that's going to dry and that'll be fine so that's supposed to be the fronty thing so because that's got that could have the thumb hole all right so I'm going to spray I think some um this sort of paper, I've got that. Um, I got that handy, so I thought I'd use it. Okay, that sort of paper, and I'm going to use bright colours. Right, so I've got yellow and orange. <laughs> you can mix it. You can do it like. You can do dots and everything. If you haven't got these, obviously, but not many people will have these because not well. I don't think they're that well known, are they? So I've got rose red, and I'm going to make sure I move them out the way. <laughs> rose red. Look at all that coming out. Going to go up to about there with rose red. Move her over there and scarlet. I don't know what scarlet is. I haven't got them on. Um, oh, that looks a similar sort of colour, I think. I 
don't worry we're going to come back in with a white anyway aren't we right so i'm going to try the other side being orange and lemon yay and i've got i don't know what we're, i don't know exactly what we're doing so you've probably seen if you've seen it at the beginning you know what i'm doing Let's do blue now because I've got that's contrasting, isn't it? I'm going to try these two anyway. Cobalt blue, ultramarine. Dried. Oh, 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 look at all. Oh, oh, that's I love that effect. <laughs> so, oh, I could use this paper, couldn't I? It's just normal paper. Yeah, it, did, it had a bit of green on it. Oh, I love that. I'm going to try that like that, hopefully. Yay. Yeah, so I've been outside. <laughs> I've been outside and dried these now. I hung that actually on the line, on the washing line. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it's completely dry. Yeah, because it's quite a nice day out there. Yep. Okay, so this is, I'm going to actually put a thing in there now, I think. Yeah, I came in with a um, one and a half inch. My new one, yeah, I've only got a one and a half, I've got one and a half inch that's new. Right, so that's actually the main side because that's the side you would see and that's the side you need to see. Um, if I'm thinking about clipping onto a page, you could not decorate that, that side and just um, stick it down, obviously. <laughs> right, so let's get some of these done. Right, for these, I'm going to just tear it the circles okay i'm thinking about perhaps doing two of these same color you can always tear it down as long as you've got one size Oh, so pretty okay right I was going to stop it then for some reason but I've obviously I've done it on I've think about doing that on fast so what I've done is torn some circles out about the same size because you can adjust the size I think that's probably I don't know whether to make them the same color or, or different colors I think I think we ought to have a couple of different sorts didn't we a bit big right so if, if you can't tear with your fingers it's very difficult you can use um deckle edge scissors they're good deckle edge scissors are really good for um looking like you've torn it and don't draw a circle just do your best making a circle oh yeah this is going to be do, do your best this is going to be a heart shape i think nearly oh it's like a it's like a big uh a poppy petal, doesn't it? <laughs> poppy petal. Hmm. That's supposed to be a circle. 
ish. Look, I've done it. That's why I, this is why I don't do it like this. Right, let's have a go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cut that bit off. Yeah, if I was doing a poppy petal, that'd be perfect. I'm not doing poppy petals, am I? So, I'm going to get that bit off there. Uh, so that's a sort of circle now. Okay, I'm going to put that on there. That's too much. I'm thinking about definitely making these as the middle. I was thinking about making three of these. Uh, blue one. I need something for the middle. Perhaps I could use a bit of something on here for the middle of that one. So you want something like... Yay! How about that there? And then you could get one of these. Or you can make several and then find out which one you like the best. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, that's not bad, is it? A oh, little circle. Right, and then uh, I've used these possibly as leaves. Can't see them very well. I'm going to obviously, I'm going to ink them up, obviously. I'm not going to obviously ink them up. I'm going to ink them up. Right, and I'm going to put that one there. Or there's this one. Yeah, let's do that one. Hmm. What we got on here? <laughs> I might grab something off there again. That's good. This is quite good, really. I've been a a background. And I want something for that one, don't I, around there? Ooh, right, right, let's ink them. I'm going to ink them or something. Yeah, I was just thinking when I was doing this, you don't have to have, obviously you can use coloured paper. You could spray inks like Tim Holtz inks and all that if you've got those. And you can um, spatter paint with a toothbrush or something like that, like uh, watercolours and toothbrush. But please don't wear your best blouse. That, or is that just me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I would do something like that. Yeah. And I'd get ink on it. I think, oh, well. But then I'd want to wear it another time. I think, oh, no. So yeah, so don't do that. Right, so I'm thinking uh, that's diff that's slightly different. So we shall make a feature of that one. And what? How shall we have them? Right. Okay. I'm going to do something with this. I think first. Definitely. 
again inking i was thinking also um around the edge you could put some um marker pen if you bleed marker pen into the paper that'd be good if you've got like a whatever color you want to use Right, so it's up to you whether you want it left or right. Obviously, you want it on the right page. It probably go like that, left page like that. Unless you, I don't think it's a good idea to put that in this in the middle. If you're going to put it on a page and clip it in or glue it in, things like that. Right, I'm going to glue them on now, and I don't know. Let me just see if I can find an arrangement of the main bits. Okay, yep, so that's these three. The orange one. That was bottom, that was at the top. I was thinking the red one's the most bold, so perhaps that could go like that. So I'll show I'm gonna glue the red one down first then. There ish, okay-ish. Now we've got to find some glueish. <laughs> glueish oh, glue. There ish a eh? right, let's put that sort of there. Right, so those are the three. There seems to be a bit of a gap here. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know whether to put something there. How about a couple of leaves or something? I don't know. It seems to be a massive gap. I should have had it up here a bit further, shouldn't I? Just realised. Right, um, I don't know whether to put those. Something like. Does it add to it or does that detract from it? I don't know. Or about a couple of. Th couple we'll of them off the edge lot. Interest. <laughs> I was thinking that they would be quite interesting on a like um, a collage, wouldn't they? Right, what I'm gonna do then, yeah. Yeah, we could use it because obviously I've done that wrong, like a nana. Well, now I haven't done it wrong, of course I've made a mistake, but I'm going to rectify the mistake by putting these down with anything else. I want one for this corner. There's another yellow one. Uh. <laughs> there you go, make a mistake. <laughs> Making a mistake, but hey. Right, I'm gonna put them in the corners. Oh, come on, don't don't mess me about. Right, so there, I've got those for the four corners. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know, is that going to be too much? Let's have it like that. And we're going to cut the corners. And we're going to cut the corners. We're going to cut the um, excess off. I could have put, I could have inked them up as well, couldn't I? And I've got glue poking out. That's no good, is it? You don't want glue poking out, do you? Mm -hmm. There we go. No glue now. No glue is allowed to poke out. Right, there we go. Whoops, get out. I've just I just used it and I just put it down there and I've told it to get out my cloth. I hope it's not mad with me. 
<laughs> oh dear. Right, there we go. Oh, doesn't that make a pretty one? Yeah. So it's this way, obviously this way. It doesn't really, I don't think it matters actually which way around you put it. Because it goes either way if you change your mind and want it to get it out. Right, so I'm going to do, what am I going to do now then? I was going to do the index card. Let me do the index card. We might even use some of those yet. We don't know yet, do we? What are we doing? Right, because I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know if you do. Because I certainly don't. Right, so index card, which is which will should fit. I don't think it fit all the way. Let's see if it will. Look, I've rounded the corners of the index card. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, there we go. And that looks a bit white, doesn't it, in there? Yes, yeah, so it is actually a little bit too long, so it's worth checking. If you're going to use an index card, obviously you don't have to use it. Come on, look. I know you want, don't want to get out and don't want to be caught, but you've got to be. Okay, a minute. I'm going to do it about, what there was it? Well, obviously you can measure it and do, but I'm just going to, you know what I'm like, I can put, it's not very straight there, but we'll do, we'll, we'll live with that one. I'm just going to round the corners with this tiny bit. A very small bit, yeah. How does that look? Yeah, that's fine. Right, so now I'm going to I'm going to put a thing here. I don't know how to do it. Right, hold on. <laughs> do what to do it? Would, would a bit of that be all right? I'm going to get the corners off. So what I'm doing is not the ones where it's folded, but the other corners. Uh, hold on, we could have done it all. Cool. I wonder if I've got my sit my again. Scissors. Okay, I'm going to use my deckle edge scissors because I think that might be a bit easier. I'm going actually going to cut all along the uh, all along the edges that are ha aren't folded. Don't know what how it's going to look, so don't <laughs> don't expect a miracle. Okay, perhaps we could use a bit of washi tape to uh, fix it on. It's going to be a temporary thing, so I'm going to grab a bit of this. Yeah, right, okay, yeah, that's fine. The edge did it. Oh, it's done it, found it. All right, hopefully, a very tiny bit of this. Fold it over like this. This is what I'm always doing, things like this. Put it in the middle there and just fix it on so it doesn't move. So I'm going to put my brush hose in, and when we, when we do the water, I'm going to be sure we, oh, we can do it both sides, can't we? As it goes through. If it goes through, then we don't need to. <laughs> but we've got to wait for it to dry again, haven't we? Let's put some lemon on. Lemon in one corner. Uh, orange in another corner. Just grabbing it. Let's grab this one, whatever that one is. Leaf green in that corner. And uh, put the lid on. And let's have brilliant red in this corner. And then we're going to spray it. We need something underneath, as usual, which we did, which we don't never do, because I'm <sighs> dear, because I don't. All right, so I'm going to put it that way. Oh yeah, we tipped all this stuff off, aren't we? Which one was the? <laughs> I just tipped it all off. Let's put a bit more, I'll put a bit of crimson in there then as well, I don't know. Just a tiny bit. Right, um, let's have a bit of ultramarine. There we go. Look. How about that? And I don't know whether it's going to go onto the other side. Where's my cloth? I use this, I use the, not my glue cloth. The other one. I used my glue cloth that I cut the other day. <laughs> yeah, out of a. Well, that's making it a bit muddy, isn't it? Oh no, we don't want to make it a bit muddy. I don't know, shall we? I'm going to leave it, see how it goes. Oh yeah, we've got other things to do, haven't we? I've just remembered what I was going to do to them.
yeah yeah i've got the things to do to that okay what did i say earlier look it hasn't gone through it hasn't oh dear let's shall we do another one Okay, so while that's drying, let's have some fun with this. Where's my... Right, that looks like it's floating in air, doesn't it? But it's actually on a piece of sticker paper. You know the backing of a sticker? You've got them washi stickers and I've got that plastic backing. Good use for them. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get... This is actually gouache. Um, gouache, gouache, I don't know. My friend at college used to call us call it gouache. And I before that I'd call it gouache, I don't know. So it's either. I'm just going to do some dots. So basically I'm going to do a load of dots and lines on these. Uh, looks like it's on the desk, doesn't it? Here. Right. Um, it's for a change, it isn't. <laughs> right, so this is supposed to be more opaque. It's very... Uh, so I'm not adding much water to it at all. So I'm going to do this on fast then and then we'll um, see how we are after that. Oh, where are we going? Okay, so where are we? Yes, I can put it off again. Right, so um, I'm sort of basically doing little strokes here. As if the petals are a bit creased. No doubt they do. You draw them like that sometimes. So I'm doing the little tiny short strokes. I'm doing one, two, one, two or three, depending. If there seems to be a space, I put one there, look, and I might put one there. Okay, there perhaps as well. And dots for the middle like that. So I hope that's brought it out a bit. Yeah, and then obviously these things here, that's you can't see them very well. Yeah, it's very um because obviously I've got uh And so I've done that now then that's okay it still would go any way up it wouldn't match if it was that way or that way I think that's because that the one at the side is on top actually I wonder if that's the reason it could be and that looks a bit 3d as well quite good it doesn't I don't know whether it does to you but to me that especially this one looks like it's piled up Right. Okay. I'm going to see if it's done. I've, I've put it on the line. I don't. I don't know whether it'll be done. I've gone. I've gone. See, we might be able to do something with it, even if it's wet anyway. So, <laughs> here it is. It was still dripping, but <laughs> I've brought it in. Obviously, you can use these for other parts. That's how it's turned out. I've still got again all over my hands. So I'm going to add some. Um, Oh yeah, look at that. Vignette. Vignette style. The other side's the wettest bit. So I don't think we, we left that, didn't we? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put some st little strokes along here. That was almost like st um, the blanket stitch.
Let's try one. I'll have to wait a minute. Just doing a few little dots here and there actually. Look, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? You know I can't resist. <laughs> then it looks like you've got a bit more a few more little spaces. So basically I'm just doing just dots and stripes. So there's no you know, it's nothing majorly artistic, but look how it, look what effects you can achieve with stops, dots and stripes. I was going to say stots and dripes or something. Right, there we go. Okay, so I've done those now, and that's probably I don't. It won't go in here yet. It's too wet, I think, still. But there we go. There's your. Obviously, you've seen it fits in. So that's your matching. So you've got a little thing. It's still obviously right on where you like. I mean, it's it, it's got lines both sides. Um, you've got a choice then. You say, oh yeah, that for that. I'll use that for that information and that for the other information. <laughs> So there, that's a quite good little useful pocket, isn't it? Useful little pocket to put your useful little notes in. Okay, and um, as I say, it doesn't matter which way around you go. If you've enjoyed my content today, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video, yay! Press your notification bell with your crafty fingers and... Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It's lovely to have new subscribers. I've had a few lately. Uh, about eight, I think. It's been good. I'm trying to get to that magic thousand. Because I've already got my watch hours. <laughs> but um, I need a thousand. Okay, I hope you can help. And um, where's me? Um, I'm going to cut that little bit off. Right, and please join my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts. Obviously on Facebook, believe it or not. Got some absolutely wonderful people on there. Uh, tip, tip Lady Patricia. And the um, Use What You Have Lady, <laughs> Masala, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, it shows you that you can just use what you have. I'm learning from them, you know, as well. Not just they're learning from me. I am learning from them. As I say, you can do this in several different ways. You can use, don't have to use an envelope even if you haven't got one. You can use a piece of magazine paper. You can use magazine magazines for this. You can obviously colour your paper like I did and and cut them out like that. And then use the, <laughs> for the spaces that didn't quite work out. Use your, because uh, that works, that worked very well. That was an, uh, that was an addition, that wasn't a plan. Um, in fact, I was going to put leaves on one time, but I didn't. I can always put leaves on. And uh, so, I'm going to, uh, so I don't like to say bye to I? But I'm going to say bye now. And thanks very much for watching. And please take care. Thank you.